birthday now, Mother Earth. Obviously, mother to us all. And you do not disrespect Nana. We all know that. You have to, you have to tr treat, treat Mother Earth as, as if she were your own mother, like quite literally. So we're going to bring in uh, some wonderful people from the Department of Agriculture and find out what we can do to celebrate Earth Day and find out what they are, do, are doing to uh, lead the way. We have, of course, our good friend Ursula Herrera, who is here. Ursula, please bring that Tabasco back. That was awesome. Oh my, that's I know, I know you love Pika. There it is. <laughs> I do pika lala for life. That's that's a that's a proper Guam <laughs> desk right there. <laughs> also joining us in the KOM News Zoom room, uh, Miss Camille Kitatu. Camille, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks so much. And Carolyn is also here. Hi, Kara. Good morning. Nice to be with you. All right. So we are talking about Earth Day. Um, Earth, I give it over to you. So what what are you, what is the Department of Agriculture doing to make sure that Earth Day is recognized, is appreciated, is celebrating, and then what? What can we do who aren't in the agency to help you guys continue your good work? Your Department of Agriculture, our Department of Agriculture, we're excited to celebrate Very nice. Earth Day. Um, it's Ag Loves Guam. Like, we're so excited to spend the Saturday with you guys. Um, our divisions are going to come out and shine. Um, everyone will have a chance to speak on their respective divisions. But it's going to be a fun activity, fun, fun activities for the day at the Tumon Bay Preserve um eat out so we'll be on that right side gbb side in between proa and gbb the pavilions e and um we'll have smoky the bear so forestry will be there um so we'll have the smoky bear mobile display and the wood cookie painting and the popular rollout hose competition i'm gonna beat my time from last year because who that's rough <laughs> <laughs> These five-year-olds are smoking me. Well, what, what's um, what's, anyway, a, what's we the got, time to beat? We got three, um, what's that? What's the time to beat? I don't, man, I literally it takes me like three minutes. I don't know. Oh, it's they, heavy. That's why that's why we needed a lot of you to come out to not only know like what we can do to make sure that you know um, we we preserve the earth, but also to make sure that how we can we can break records. Yes. Well, those are going to be a Talaza throwing. Um, Talaz are throwing, and that's always fun. I got to work nice. on my technique. I can't, I think it's like the botsu, you know, you kind of do the swing and then, but yeah, I'm going to work on my skills. But um, have a true pruning, true tree pruning demonstration, which is always fun, right? want to do it the right way to encourage growth, protect our native uh, trees. And then for our division for Agricultural Development Services, ADS, we'll have a planting activity for the kids so they can take home a peanut plant of peanut seedlings and cucumbers. We'll have a variety. And then our favorite is going to be the make and take uh, tea blend. So we'll have some um, flowers and some herbs from our nursery grown in our nursery. So you can uh, make and take, take it home and brew it with love grown from our um, island. Wow. We'll have our play and seedlings for sale so if you've been following our instagram you can you'll have a chance to pick some up oh, very and then cool. i'll let everybody else, i'll let everybody else speak on it as well speak on their divisions and activities yeah I was, really I, was, fun. I was gonna say maybe camille can we go over to you because obviously what ursula was talking about is you guys are exhibiting a lot of what the agency does um to show off how good the earth has been to us and everything like that but we also have to be responsible mm -hmm. as well oh yes definitely we can't just take so take take <laughs> yeah, so I'm actually um, Guam's new Coral Fellow, Coral Reef Management Fellow, um, and Kara is the outgoing fellow, so we kind of have a chance to work together. Uh, we are part of the Guam Coral Reef Initiative. Uh, this is going to be my first Earth Day event with the Department of Ag, so I'm really excited. We have a lot of things planned, um, but for our um, program in particular, we have like a few activities just to teach the kids about maybe like seagrasses, corals, like sustainable fishing, just something a little bit educational. And then we also have um, a few things to give away, uh, you know, like a participation prize. Mm -hmm. Now, Kara, maybe if you can um, can jump in as, as a coral fellow uh, as well, what is the number one misconception that, that we Guamanians, you know, regardless of what generation we're from, what's the big misunderstanding we have about the coral reef and how much it means to us and, and how important it is to us. Um, so, um, as since my work as a coral fellow is actually focused on seagrasses and mangroves. Okay. Um, I think one thing that sometimes gets overlooked is the connection between our seagrasses and mangroves, these different habitats. Um, fish are often moving between them. They're, 
using the seagrass as a nursery when they're young and then moving to the corals. Um, uh, the seagrasses are affecting the water quality um, and improving the habitat for the corals to survive better, especially in light of climate change. Um, so that's personally one thing that um, I've been trying to raise awareness about, um, including with our activities uh, this weekend. So um, definitely looking forward to uh, seeing you guys out there and um, showing off some of our seagrass critters. Okay. Well, even because because the nature of seagrass, obviously it's beneath the waves, um, it plays a very uh, significant role. Um, you know, in the, in the ecosystem here and everything, and probably something that, that, you know, I was mentioning misconceptions, but probably something a lot of people don't recognize and probably don't appreciate, would you say? Yes, yes, that's my, uh, that's what I was trying to uh, say. Sure. Um, it often kind of just looks like this green uh, homogenous habitat, and um, it can be kind of weird to swim through if it's like getting all tangled up in you or touching your skin, but um, it is a very important habitat uh, for lots of different wildlife. Um, gets a lot of carbon out of the atmosphere as well. So, uh, yeah, really hoping to highlight the seagrasses and corals as well um, this weekend. Very cool. So, Ursula, obviously, there, there's a lot of education, but then there's also a lot of interactivity that you guys are doing. So, you guys are really involving the community and not just saying like, okay, well, we're we're gonna pass out like a bunch of brochures. Yeah, go have a nice weekend and everything. You guys want to make sure that we have hands-on experience of how important it is that you know we be stewards of the environment. Absolutely. And everything from um, food security to protection of our coral reef, planting native species, but as well as uh, native trees, but, you know, animal health, animal control will be there. Um, it's they're going to have their micro trip, micro trip and rabies vaccinations for ten dollars. Dogs only, no cats. Um, and then a pet registration for five dollars for a year. Every cat on Guam is mad at you right now. What's that? Every, ca every, ca every cat on Guam is mad at you right now, but you guys are setting up I an know. event just for them later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, get to them. We'll, get, we'll get to them later. <laughs> We're going to also have, um, which is really cool. I don't know if you saw it the last time, but we have that um, uh, DIY. So it's going to build how to build a pallet doghouse. So upcycling. Nice. So we'll have a little demo. Yeah, using pallets and tarp and um, providing comfort and shade to your pet, your, your pets. So. Mm -hmm. Um, that'll be really fun. Okay. Uh, Camille, if there are people watching this right now and, and you know, they feel as the three of you do and, and the, throughout the entire agency and they say, they, I want to get more involved and, you know, um, I feel like I have a calling for this kind of work, but, you know, like um, I don't really have like a deep background and everything. What's what's are some ways that they could actually get involved or, you know, prepare to be more interactive and, you know, and make a change? Well, I think you should definitely participate in our outreach events because especially at this event in particular, all the programs will be there. Um, so you can just kind of like hop to each of the pavilions and check it out. And uh, I believe each uh, booth will have like their own sign in sheet or something like that. So you can um, give like your contact information and if you're interested in like volunteering with us or you just want to like know about the events that we're holding, then you can just sign up and then we'll keep you informed. Very cool. Okay. So is there any cost for participating in this? Cause obviously you guys are doing so many different things. That's not easy. It's not cheap. It takes a lot of, a lot of really smart minds. It takes a lot of like time to put this together. Uh, Earth, do I have to like basically go out all and free. all free. free. Ag loves Guam. We love you guys. Come visit <laughs> us. Show your love. <laughs> there you go. Hey, everybody, let's go do one of those. Wee! Ag <laughs> loves Guam. <laughs> let's get that hashtag trending, everybody. Let's get it on Twitter right now. Ag loves Guam. Ag make, loves Guam. Okay, and make, no, seriously, make, make, sure you, make sure you tweet with that because on Earth Day and everything, we want to let the entire Earth know, society that is, like how much we're doing over here because we appreciate the ocean, we appreciate the jungle, we appreciate the sky, we appreciate the beach. Um, these are gifts to us and I, I think like yes it is we are part mm -hmm. of the land you know we are, must remember that we're part of that and part of being a good ancestor is um caring caring for our planet absolutely <laughs> hey good morning <laughs> Hop a day. on his way to school <laughs> okay hey, well okay Ertz, i'm gonna i'm gonna let you go so if he's heading off to school you got to make sure to pack some of that uh, that tabasco uh. <laughs> <laughs> The cucumbers, I swear. He there you go. Okay. cucumber farmers. 
okay, in, so, uh, in business. <laughs> so, you know, when, when people put like a million different hashtags on Instagram, put, you know, remember, Ag loves Guam and then Ursula loves Tabasco. Let's get those trending. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, thank you so much. Th thank you, Department of Agriculture. We appreciate you guys doing everything for, for me. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll see you there at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Okay, Camille, Kara, Ursula, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Be be okay, the link continues right after this. We got Sports Link coming up, so please stay tuned. Subscribe to our KOM News Digest.